Your stack root chakra is linked to fire. Okay? And if you were to tap into that chakra, through that chakra in meditation and focus on that chakra, you would be able to control the fire. Tighten your relationship with fire. Okay? This is how powerful we are. They'll never tell you this in school or on Google. Now, what's the next chakra up? Solar plexus chakra. It has a golden glow, right? It deals with willpower. What does your, your what does your solar plexus chakra? What what element does it has domain over? Your soul, literally. But let's go deeper. Plasma energy. Okay. Plasma energy. All right. Now, let's go up to the next chakra. The next chakra is what? Your heart chakra. What does it deal with? Divine cosmic love. What does it give you domain over? If you want to work with the spirits of the soil of planet Kai and feel her and cause earthquakes, for example, say you want to cause earthquakes, right? You would have to cleanse out your heart chakra and tap into that because that connects you directly to the soil and nature. This is why it's green. It deals directly with nature. All right, it gives you dominion over that. This is why they, for each chakra has its own mudras too. We're gonna talk about that. Now let's go up to the next one after the hardest one. The throat chakra. What color is your glow when it's throat chakra energy? Sky blue. Guess what element that deals with? Water. Well, actually, I said that wrong. That's your brow chakra going for water. Your throat chakra is sky blue because it deals with air. Which is when you speak, what are you speaking? Air. Communication. Right? How do you unlock that? By speaking truth. Being honest with yourself as well as others. Throat chakra. But it gives you dominion over the air. Throat chakra. Okay? Because when you're speaking, that's that's an air. You're dealing with air. Okay? The element. Next one is your, your your brow chakra, your third eye. That one gives you dominion over the water. It deals with intuition. And it deals with creativity. As well as emotion. Empathy. Okay? This is what each chakra is aligned with. Okay? So... The each chakra directly connects you to these elements. You must know this. This is where your true abilities lie. This is why meditation is key and going within. Now, that's just from a magical point of view. That's just to deal with yourself. You want to cleanse each chakra out, though. The root, the sacral, the solar plexus, the heart chakra, the, the, the throat chakra, the, the, the brow, the third eye chakra, as well as the, the, the crown chakra. You have to cleanse each one out for you to even use it, right? So this is why when you meditate, you want to take yourself through a seven-week program. Seven-week program. First two weeks to be dealing with your higher self and your lower self. Donate your first week to your root chakra. Every day, you just in the root chakra mood for a week. You know, time not real before a week. They're weak. They're man-made weak. Second week, you want to work on your higher self, your crown chakra, cleansing that out, right? Accepting that everything around you that you love, you're going to one day have to detach from. It's just all part of the illusion of experiencing this realm. But you have, like, remember, I am that I am. You're multiversal. You're, you, you, you are the multiversal. You are a multidimensional being. I am that I am. So you have lifetimes. You have... You have a life here, but you have lives on every planet. You have lives and bodies, avatars on every dimension, every universe, every galaxy. You exist. Okay? So you'll spend the first two weeks doing that. Third week, now you start cleansing out your sacral shock. Fourth week, start cleansing out your, your solar plexus chakra. Fifth week, 
Start cleansing out your heart, shepherd. That donate the whole week today. Six week, donate that whole week to your to your um to your throat chakra. Seven week, donate that to your third eye chakra. Now, how do you do that? That's where your mudras come in at, right? Okay, so you have this is the basic one, but people will do this. Now, when you're working on your root chakra, where you sit like a ruler sitting. You hold you just like that, but you point them down. They still together. And what's this, y'all? Water, plasma energy. So you're connecting the water. You're tapping into the water and the plasma energy to cleanse out that root chakra. You're using water and plasma energy to cleanse out that root chakra because that's what it requires. You see what I'm saying? These are elements connect you to the elements. Now. You go to your sacral chakra. You put in your hole. So you put in water, fire, earth, air. Plasma energy. You put all of them together. And you touching the plasma energy. And you holding it close to you. That cleanses out your sacral chakra. Get what I'm saying? Solar plexus. You're taking the same four. But you're pointing them. You're locking it. That's, that's solar plexus. And you hold it right by your soul. Hands together. Notice, but you point it. Your thumbs not up. They like this. Why? That's the plasma energy. You use the plasma energy to channel all four. Water, fire, earth, air to cleanse out your solar plexus. You get what I'm saying? You want to do this. You gotta cleanse them out. You will spend that whole week. Every time you go into meditative state, if it's sacral chakra, if it's root chakra week, every meditation needs to be like that. If it's cleansing the the, the sacral chakra that week, every meditation needs to be like this. And when you're in a meditative state, keep telling yourself, I am that I am. Understanding what I am even means. And also understanding what each finger means and its connections. You're connected to everything around you. You are everything and everything is you. Remember, I am everything and everything is me. See what I'm saying? If it's solar plexus weak, you're strengthening your willpower. You got to cleanse out your soul for that though. You like this all week in every meditation. If it's heart chakra weak, you back like this. But instead of pointing them down, you point them up. You point them up. Why not down? Down because the root chakra is what? The lowest chakra. So you down there cleansing. Your heart chakra is the balance. That those point up. Right? Cleansing out that chakra connects you to the divine cosmic love, giving you the empathy to relate and have dominion over everything in the physical realm that presides within the earth, within the soil, because the soil 